Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at an uh, in-depth look at connecting a MIDI keyboard to BM3 to actually play the synths, instrument keys, your AUV3s, etc, etc, just as you would a normal keyboard. I'm also going to show you how to connect a Bluetooth keyboard as well from my little Roly Seaboard block. I'm also going to show you how you can play multi-layered instruments at the same time with your MIDI keyboard and then two separate instruments at the same time uh, with two different keyboards, the normal wired one and the Bluetooth one. Okay, so first of all, when you load an instrument into, um, like I've got this Soul Keys in there, um, I have my Oxygen keyboard uh, connected to this. Well, I, I'm tapping away and ain't getting nothing. Nothing at all, nothing at all. And I spoke to Dean Daughters, uh, who's like the genius with BM3, and then hit up their forum as well, and then read the manual. And it, it, it's 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 all a bit weird at first, and then it makes perfect, perfect sense. So the most important thing at the very first thing, what we're going to do is going to tap this little icon here at the top, and we're going to go to settings, and then we're going to ignore all this because this is where you can MIDI learn your MIDI controllers. But we're going to go to settings and behavior. Now. Here's the thing, all you need to do is basically, this probably will stay off if you're not getting any sound, but if we switch it on, there we have our MIDI. Now, let's go back to our piano. So the most obvious thing to do here for me would have been go down to MIDI setup, even though I've got sound, but what I did it first, I mean, I've, I can play this now without anything there. So it's like, um, That's fine. And then I thought, what well, a port. And then it was, oh, there's my oxygen there. Fantastic. Hey, still works. It's fab. Now. So I was doing this and I thought, uh, eventually at some point I wanted to create a new bank. So I added a new bank. And then I tapped this to go and find another instrument to put in there. So I thought, well, let's have a look at, um, okay, well, for, for, for the, the sake of this, I'll use Summer Organ, okay, Load Bank. And then, and I'm thinking, well, I've, sele well, I've selected here, right, I'm selected, but I'm still not getting my uh, organ sound come through. So then I went back to this and I thought, I looked at MIDI, MIDI there for load bank uh, MIDI setup and I thought oh right oh, okay poor so oxygen right so now I'm getting both played right now this is very very handy indeed when you want to start layering and that's how you would layer if you had you would focus the each track each channel like B1 and A1 in this case to the keyboard controller if you see in, in the mixer there So now we've got a layer going on. So I thought, well, that was cool. Well, I can now, if I wanted to uh, go back and add more things, I could lay them all up like that. But what if I just want to select that and play the, the piano and select that and play the organ? Well, here's the thing, right? Go to your MIDI settings again here, MIDI setup, and choose to put and choose none. And then do the same for this one, summer organ, go to MIDI setup and choose MIDI input, none, okay? Now what will happen now, the MIDI focus will be on whatever track you've selected. Now you may notice, that that organ sound is another reason I picked this organ sound. This organ sound is monophonic. I mean, I'm only play. I can only play one note at a time. And I thought, well, I want to. It's an organ. I want to be able to play polyphonic. So anyway, what you do to do that is you go into this one here, which is your sample editor, and you will see. <clears throat> excuse me for headbutting the camera again. You will see when it says polyphony here. You just tap that and then you can choose how many voices you want. So now I will have four voices for my organ sound. 
Sorry. Um, let's see. My summer organ. Fantastic. Now, okay, so let's move on. Moving swiftly on. Because we get, you, the, the trouble with these, if I don't keep them short and sweet, you know, it gets a bit confusing for me as well. Anyway, so I'm thinking, right, at this point, I'm thinking, well, that's cool. What can I do now if I want to hook up my Bluetooth keyboard instead? So first of all, I can select um, MIDI setup and just focus the... No, I can leave that on non for now. I'll go back to my piano, which I want to play with this uh, oxygen keyboard. So we'll go to MIDI setup, port, and I will choose the oxygen. So I'm focusing this on the oxygen, so it won't change when I go to B1. Okay. So, okie dokie. Now, again, I need to go to settings. So I need to switch my... I'll just switch this thing on first. So here it is, here. I'm just going to turn it on. Okay. So that is on now. Um, so we can go to, here we go, settings and audio and MIDI devices. Okay. And you will see here at the top, there's a little Bluetooth symbol. And then it'll say it's not connected. So we'll just do this to connect it. Okay. It's connected now. Right. Done. It's a done deal. It's, I said it's done. Get off, it's done. Right. <laughs> okay. So if we go back now to our... So if I play the... the, the you see, I've connected the oxygen keyboard. So that will now play soul keys as well. As well as me. MIDI keyboard, right? So I'm going to just uh, make sure that my oxygen is selected for this one. I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to choose, where are we now? MIDI setup and port and C board block. Now. Now I have the, ox, uh, the C board playing. So the... No, one, no matter where I am, I can still play the actual C board. You can see the MIDI, uh, MIDI been received and... So that's how you do that. And if you look at your actual behaviors, it's still switched on. If I turn it off now, I can still play my Neo Soul keys and can't play my oxygen anymore. So the thing is to make sure that that's switched on and you'll have much, much more control over your MIDI setup. Okay. So I set... Um, of course, the cool thing about having the um, the 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 the, uh, the what's it the uh, the Bluetooth as well that with the AUV threes, uh, if you've got like I'm not sure if if BM three supports c complete MPE at the moment, but I'm sure it will um, soon. If you have a, a C board or or some sort of MPE controller, that you'll be able to control the instruments that are set up for that, like noise and. Animoog and things like Animoog, sorry, and things like that um, for, for, for inside. So I set up earlier when I was messing around, if I go to sessions, um, where is it now? Uh, this one, load session. Oh, okay. Don't bother about keeping that. This was a little session I set up with um, Phosphor from... Um, What's his name? Um, Audio Damage from Chris, Chris Randall there. And then a little tiny thing with uh, Moog, uh, Moog, Moog, Moog Model T here. And all the MIDI was set up correctly. So, for instance, it's all like rooted to none. 
and then route it to none. So I'm not, I can, no, that, that's completely ignored. I don't need to add that in there. Um, no, we made this up. So we're all routed to none in our MIDI input sort of thing. So I can actually, there's Phosphor. There's. There's the AUV3 uh, Moog Model D. And this was just um, the, the, a, a thing and the track thingy looked like that, and that, which I was about to put some bass in. So if you watch my sort of setting up and getting started tutorial, I mean, if you if you guys are at this level, you're probably going to know this anyway. So I'm going to just put some bass. But I'm going to just jam along with some bass over the top of that now. Um, let me do that. And where are we? No, I don't need that to work like that there. And so it's uh, basically at the moment it sounds like this. I'll just. Um, So I'm going to record some of the modal D over the top of that now. So I'll stop it, give myself a count in. Actually, I'll just play because I can't remember what I was going to play. That I think. So that's how I <clears throat> that's how I set the MIDI up for the various bits and pieces and stuff like that. And of course, if I was like my because of the way the MIDI is set up now, I've got control over the modal D with the actual um, sorry MPE controller as well um, because I'm not focusing um, any particular track aren't any i'm not facing any particular bank or track at any particular channel it's just there you know what i mean if i was to now just focus this at the uh the oxygen the um well that's weird isn't it oh no because i'd have to change it for the and uh, oh this is the i'd have to change the phosphor to the uh seaboard here we go. So you have to go into your... If you want to control separate MIDI controllers, separate synths, you have to go in. If you want to layer, you know what to do. You just select, uh, for instance, with this one, it would be the oxygen, so I could now play um, both instruments just with the one keyboard. And that's basically the MIDI setup. If you watch it a, a couple of times, it, it, it becomes clear and obvious what's going on. Right, so I'm going to put links in the description for the um, Intuit, Intuit Beatmaker website and Beatmaker forum. I suggest you go and join the forum because there is loads of absolute, there's loads of free stuff there as well. I grabbed a free kit there this morning uh, when I, I, I joined. And... Um, it's just a great resource. It's, it's very friendly as well. And you'll learn everything you need to know way, way, way beyond what you, you could just show in a quick video. Um, <clears throat> I'll also put links in for Beatmaker 3 and, and, and on any other apps that were featured in the video. Uh, if you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. Cons consider subscribing to the channel, please, or becoming a patron. If you can't do either of those, please, please, uh, if you can make a donation, that is absolutely fantastic because Santestrum can't survive without support from the community. So anyway, thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you guys later.